everybody, it's me, Brandon. Thank you for joining me today for another skincare vlog. Today we're going to be doing a sunscreen review, and I know that a lot of you guys do like the sunscreen reviews, so coming back with you to, or coming back to you with a new sunscreen, new to me, it's not necessarily new um, in terms of the market, but this is the Avene SPF 50 Intense Protect chemical sunscreen. So this is a European sunscreen that does contain chemical sunscreen filters like Evenol A+, Tenosaur, Evenol 2, 10150. These are fantastic, phenomenal uh, UVA absorbers as well as UVB. So fantastic chemical absorbers for anti-aging because you're going to be getting out, filtering out that UVA. Interestingly enough, it also contains this sort of new ingredient called Triazor, which is a chemical sunscreen filter that absorbs UVB as well as UVA, an ultra long form of UVA. Not a lot of sunscreen filters can actually absorb or block that ultra long form UVA, which penetrates really, really deeply into the skin. In addition, it may contain against high energy visible light or uh, blue light. So blue light comes from our computer screens, our phones, the biggest source of blue light is from the sun. It's this visible, it's, a, it's in the visible light spectrum. It's the, it's the visible light that we can see. It drives hyperpigmentation. And there's actually quite a bit of research emerging suggesting that this blue light from the sun, even from our devices, our computer screens, indoor light uh, that hits our skin can cause similar changes to that uh, associated with UVA. So it can cause similar cutaneous aging related changes in the skin by inducing free radical damage and causing oxidative stress in the skin. So having filters that really block that blue light is incredibly important and just really minimizing your screen time and minim minimizing overall your sun exposure is going to go a long way in doing that. But having that extra layer of protection with a sunscreen ingredient like Triazorb could potentially be fantastic. Uh, just adding an extra layer of anti-aging protection. Now, iron oxides tend to block blue light as well and visible light and can help reduce hyperpigmentation, may help to provide just another step in the anti-aging protection. But um, with iron oxides, they don't always fit every skin type. These are found in tinted sunscreens. So these give the tinted sunscreens their color, um, but they're not always, they don't always match your skin tone. I know they don't me like tinted sunscreens. It's really hard to find a tinted mineral sunscreen that matches my skin tone and doesn't look just orange and it looks like I'm wearing makeup. So uh, having a chemical sunscreen that is clear would be ideal. Now with this sunscreen, I have to say, I have tried it and I've had it for months. I've had this bottle for months. The reason why I haven't gone through it is because I don't like it. I don't like the feel of it on my skin. I don't like the color on my skin. It gives me like this yellow jaundice color and it does not look natural at all. It's not clear. It doesn't help me in, in, a, in at all. Uh, Cause you know, what I look for in a sunscreen is something that looks like my skin tone or that is just completely invisible. That's what I want. Cause I don't want to, I don't want it to look like I'm wearing something. I've even kind of moved away from sunscreens that are too, too hydrating and make me look greasy. I used to like the greasy, wet moisturized look, but not so much anymore, but the Avene SPF 50 is probably a phenomenal SPF, probably a phenomenal sunscreen, but that being said, it doesn't look great on the skin. I haven't been able to, unless they reformulated it since I bought it, I haven't been able to make it work for my skin. So I'm going to do a quick wear test and I'll show you what it looks like. So it comes out looking a little bit white, like sunscreen, but there is, you might not be able to see this on the camera, but there is like a pinkish glow to the to the liquid, to the formulation. I'm not sure why that is, maybe it's the chemicals. But yeah, I'm just gonna apply it to, maybe I'll apply it to one side of my skin so you can see the difference. And we can go from there. I'm gonna be very light in my approach and my application. Actually, you know what, I'm just going to apply it to my whole face. So right off the bat, it does feel greasy and there is a cast. It does not look natural and it there is definitely a cast. I don't, I just don't see this working on darker skin tones at all. And honestly, I mean, it doesn't work on my skin tone, but the cast is just too much and I don't know if you can necessarily see in this lighting but when I go just in normal ambient lighting or when I go outside it looks 
yellow. It gives me like a yellowish tint, which I guess may not be significant if you're maybe wearing sunscreen over it or you're wearing a tinted sunscreen over it. It might not be super significant, but I'm gonna give this maybe like 15 minutes to dry down so you can see what it looked like once it dries down and it's just, just sort of absorbed. Okay, so it's dried down. I don't know. I don't know if you can see the, notice the yellowness, but whenever I do go out in just sort of like normal lighting and there is like a yellow tone to it, it's also fairly a greasy feeling. Like I just don't like the way it feels on my skin and kind of tacky. It's just not my favorite sunscreen. I wanted to love this so much. And you know what? I will be using it up. I definitely will, because I have a lot of sunscreens that I need to use up. I'm definitely gonna use this. And especially, I think this would come in handy if you are, because it offers such significant protection against the ultra long form of UVA that really penetrates deeply, as well as that Triosorb offering that blue light protection. There's not, again, there's not a lot of sunscreen filters out there that can offer that blue light protection and the sun being the primary source, the largest source of blue light, of that high energy invisible light. It could be a great option if you're like going out to the beach or you're going to sit by the pool or you're gonna be outside doing yard work or gardening or, you know, exercising, riding your bike, whatever. I think it could be a fantastic source and you don't really care what you look like. Um, and you're, you know, obviously wearing a hat and sunglasses and, and whatever. You know, it's probably, a, it, it could be a really good sunscreen in that regard, but I personally wouldn't use this sunscreen if you were going to be going out to a party or you're gonna have like an intimate like, encounter because it just makes you look strange. And that's fine, you know, if you're, if all you care about is anti-aging component, then that's totally fine. Again, I'll probably use this up just whenever I'm going outside and doing all those things. If, if I'm going to be outside for a prolonged period of time, I'll use it up. But other than that, I don't know if I will purchase this again. Um, if I do, it'll be if they reformulate it and I, I can read reviews that say that the yellowness has disappeared. I have read some reviews of people also saying that there is like a yellow tint to the sunscreen. This just may depend on your overall baseline skin tone. I don't really know. I don't know if it's universal, but like in this lighting, it looks fine. But in everyday lighting, it, there's just like that slight yellowish tint that just looks very strange. So um, I'm gonna give this like a three out of five just because I love the protection and it is moisturizing, but it's just a little too greasy whenever you do reach that quarter of a teaspoon me measurement that you need for your face. And it does have that yellow tint. So have you tried this sunscreen? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know. I know this was sort of a short video. I didn't really like go through all the ingredients, but I wanted you to just see kind of what it looked like on my skin. That's what it looks like. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, hit that like button down below. Leave a comment. Let me know if you, if you use this sunscreen, if you enjoy it, if you don't like it. Let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear that. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.